Happy February 10th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Syl avenged Merrick. She killed the giant bug that killed him. It cost her a boon and a combat tonic, and now she's chasing more giant insects into the castle halls. She's exhausted <clears throat> and at a disadvantage, minus two to all rolls today. Um... She gained a point of virtue for trying to help Merrick. That's there. But we shall soon find out, I think, exactly how costly her sacrifices of time and resources may <clears throat> turn out to be. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Oh, yeah. There we go. Uh, you've caught up to the insects you were chasing through the hallway. They stop fleeing and take up arms to fight. There might be too many, but reinforcements should be on the way. Okay, five. This is the biggest fight we've been in. Five insects, and we're at disadvantage. Um, we're okay health-wise. We're down by one. <clears throat> Our intimidation won't help here. That just adds rolls to threaten and adds a bonus to rolls to threaten and intimidate. We have this surge that we can use on either a luminous shield, which increases our defense for a single roll, or solar flare, which increases our damage for a single roll. Okay. Um, let's see. If you have heightened alert written down from earlier, um, that's a typo. According to the errata, they're talking about this castle alert that we do have written down. So um, if you have that... The reinforcement guards arrive early. Excellent. Gain plus two bonus to all attack rolls on this page. Okay, so we have minus two to all rolls, but we have a plus two to attack rolls. So those cancel each other out. I'm going to say accept attack. All right. Um... Okay, five, five insects here. <laughs> here we go. Insect one. The insect claws at you with sharp talons as it flies overhead. De its its defense is eleven. So we've got to beat it with our attack. D twenty plus three, five. We do not hit it. Um, its health is three. That doesn't matter. It gets to attack us, right? You hit, if you miss, does not die, attacks you. Its attack is 10. So we need to roll defense. Our plus 3, we need to meet 7 plus 3, 10. I think if we meet it, we're okay. So we did defense. We take partial damage. Um, <clears throat> hold on, let me get the highlighter working here. Oops. One moment, please. Highlight. There we go. Back here. Okay, we hit. We uh, defended against its attack of ten, so we're gonna take one point of damage. So we're down to seven. <clears throat> seven. All right. I'm gonna keep the red pen <laughs> handy. Um, that's the first insect. Insect two. The insect throws its spear at you from the doorway down the hall. Um, we're gonna attack it. That's strange. It's down the hall. Maybe, I don't know. We close and attack. <laughs> D20. 19. Excellent. Plus 3 attack. We easily hit it. Uh, our damage is a D8. So where's my D8? Well, we want to get uh, 5 or better. 2. <clears throat> um, solar Flare would let us add D4. But that's still going to be a stretch. We'd have to roll a 3 or a 4. A 50-50 chance there. I'm going to save it. So we hit it, but we didn't. Um, if you hit if you hit and your damage rolls equals or exceeds, the enemy dies. If you miss or the enemy does not die, it attacks you. Fair enough. Oh, attack of 13. Ouch. Okay. Um, our defense is 3. So D20, 19, excellent roll again. We defend against the, the attack. So partial damage is zero. We don't take any damage from that hit. That's excellent. 
All right, insect three. The insect bashes you with its club. Um, we're going to roll a d20. That's our attack. And we fail miserably on that one. Um, its attack is eight. So we need to roll a defense. Eight or better. And we easily hit that. But we take one point of damage. So we're down to six. Six. I think we're going to be okay here. Um, even if we take the most damage we could, Sill will survive. But let's play this out. Insect 4. The insect stabs at you with a long pike while it flies above you. That was my attack roll. 15 plus 3 is 18. We easily hit it. Um, we need to uh, do 4 or more damage. 4. Excellent. We kill insect 4. <laughs> One insect down. Um, the last insect. The insect swings <clears throat> its glaive at you. A glaive, if I'm correct, is like a big curved sword. Four, that's our attack. Plus three is seven. Um, let's... <clears throat> uh, oh! Oh, shoot. <laughs> I forgot all about our minus two to all rolls. You know what? I'm going to house rule it and say that <clears throat> this heightened alert gave her um, an adrenaline rush and hope, and I canceled out all the minus twos. Because uh, <laughs> I, <clears throat> yeah, we're going to go with that. So let's see. Um, insect five, we rolled a five, uh, four. Our attack plus three is seven. Um, not enough to hit it unless... Uh, this adds defense and damage, so we don't hit it. So it's going to attack us. <clears throat> we need to defend against a 12 attack. 12 plus our defense is 15. We easily defend. We take one point of damage. So four out of the five hit us, but we we did okay. Um, Sill is pretty pretty tough. Uh, pretty tough skunk. And now, eight. And <laughs> now I forgot one way else, but I think we're down to five. Okay. I should pay attention to what I'm doing instead of talking about it while I'm trying to do it. Uh, let's see. So, okay, we killed one insect. Um, if you did not kill all the enemies, they try to flee again, only to run into other royal guards. Okay, so they won't make it out of the castle, I suppose, but we're done. We killed one anim enemy, so we collect one amber. Outstanding. <laughs> okay. Um, we're up to four now. Four amber. Excellent. All right. That, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to watch the replay and see if things would have gone worse with that minus two. We were rolling pretty high, though, so I, I think it wouldn't have affected us very much. So, we're okay, I think. Okay. Um, on Monday, we will choose a character to play for the rest of the year. If you're playing along, let me know in the comments who you're going with. If you've decided. Uh, there are three of the six that I'm inclined toward, but I'm going to hold off making a firm choice till Monday. Um, in fact... Uh, let's do, let's do this. I'm going to move some stuff out of the way here. And boom over there. There's our pen. Put this over here. And here we go. We've got Tak. Um, who was next? Thatch, I think, was next. And then Quill. And then we met Cora. And uh, Merrick and Syl. So those are the six that we've met. There's a glare on Syl. Move things over a bit. There we go. Um, yeah. You can also roll your own character. And there are some pretty interesting options there. But for simplicity's sake... Um, I think I'll stick with one of the critters we've met so far. One of these six. 
Um, there are also folks planning on playing multiple characters simultaneously, but yeah, I think to keep things simple and short, I'm going to pick just one. So, um, let's play the Sunday Lottery for Syl, and then I'll be back on Monday. Uh, where's the lottery rules? Let's see. Back here. There they are. Sunday Lottery. Uh, you have the option to partake in a lottery every Sunday. It's Saturday, but we're pretending. Though this is not indicated on the page. It's an optional roll where you could gain or lose amber each Sunday. You may roll D6. Okay. D6. Pardon me, critters. Here's our six. Five. Gain three amber. Outstanding. That was lucky. Five. So still, um, gains three amber. Where did Sil go? <laughs> Cora. Oh dear. Cora, Merrick, Sil. Sil's up to seven amber. Seven. Okay. And that, my friends, is February 10 and 11. Um, so we shall say goodbye for today uh, and visit again on Monday, February 12th. I hope you'll join us. Uh, let us know in the comments who you're playing and or who you think I should play. And uh, thanks for watching.